welcome back to my channel all things creative my name is lynn and today i just literally just want to come on here and do a very quick video um, of me using my cricut mug press again um right now what i'm doing is a dallas cowboys um gift box um so i was doing a shirt with a matching mug for it so i just wanted to come out here right quick and just show you all before and after pictures um i have already went ahead and pre-prepped my mug um i cut the image to the correct size and then um like i said it's very important that you all use your heat tape as well um so i went ahead and i put a couple pieces of heat tape around the image um in order to keep it in place um so before we get started if you all could please subscribe to my channel if you could share this page and if you can give it a thumbs up so what we're going to do is um the mug presses already um, have been turned on and the green light is on which means that it is ready to be pressed um, placed inside of the press so we're going to set this inside and remember like i said you all um for this particular type of um, sublimation paper, I don't have to use butcher paper um, on the top part um, because it's not gonna bleed through. Um, and I have already done another mug um, as well and just to test it to see and it absolutely did not bleed through. Um, so that's a very good thing about Blanks Galore um, sublimation paper is that you do not have to have any type of butcher paper on top of it because it's not going to bleed through all right um so um, what we're going to do is we're going to close this lever i am going to allow it um to press um and like i said this takes about five minutes in order for it to fully press um and you will know that it's done because the white light well let's go ahead and press down this lever all right, and then the um, the white light, you see where it's at? This will, when it comes all the way to the end, that's how you will know it's finished, but then it's gonna give you a beep of noise as well to let you know that it's finished. So I'm going to allow this to finish up and then we will come back and do the final results. All right, you all, so it is just about finished up. Um, like you, As you can see, um, the white little dot is on its final. So that beep, when you hear that beep of noise, that means that it's finished. You want to just pull this lever up and be very careful, like I said, because it's hot, but the handle is not hot itself. Um, ooh, see that steam? It is steaming. Um, oh, I bet you this is going to be so nice. Um, okay, so um, I will allow for this to cool off um, because it is extremely hot. And then once it's finished cooling off, I will come back on and we will see what we have. Tall. So the mug, it has cooled down enough for me to be able to remove the image off of it. It's still a little warm, but it's nothing too bad that I cannot bear. Um, and I was getting patient, y'all. I be want to see how these mugs come out because these, they're so cool. Um, so I'm going to use my little weeder and, um, to take it off and let's see what we have. colors pop like no other this I love this machine wow oh my gosh wow y'all look look at this oh wow this is gorgeous I love this this is so nice it's nice I'm gonna look closer so y'all can see it this is nice, y'all. I'll post a picture of it um, as well at the um, the end of this video. I'll put it on my little turntable so you all can um, can fully see it. But this is so pretty, you all. And um, like I said, this once again is using the Cricut Mug Press. Um, they sell this um, at your local craft store. So if you have not, I highly recommend that you invest in one. Um, you'll make your money back off of it. These mugs come out absolutely nice and mugs are a very good seller as well um so that is all that i have for today um i will be sure to be back on here posting more content of different things that i um think of to create and we 
can share that experience together. Um, so once again, my name is Lynn. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.